Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do my first color and chat for December. So, of course, it's got to be a Christmas picture, right? Apologize for the glare. I have to have my light on underneath here because it's a very gloomy, doomy day here in Wisconsin. We're at the tail end of yet our second snowstorm. Got about five, six inches yesterday and got another yeah, maybe four inches today. So yeah, our snow banks are getting up there already. And yeah, it's December 1st. Oh my heavens. This is supposed to be another bad winter for us. Mm. Can't take three of those in a row. But anyhow, so we're going to color out of this stained glass color by number book by Sun Life Drawing. This is the one with uh, their standard 22 color palette. And I do have all my Copic colors figured out for all the Sun Life Drawing books. I have had a couple of requests for that particular list. So if you do have Copics and you would like uh, what I use for all the Sun Life Drawing books, um, might not necessarily match exactly what you would use, but if you want that list, feel free to email me. I've already sent it to um, a few people who wanted it, so you can go ahead and do that. So, because they are alcohol markers, of course, we want to put a blotter page back behind, and I thought we would color this cutie with the gingerbread house and the candy canes and whatnot. Now, of course, I'm not going to get this all done in one video or it would be quite a long video so we'll see how far we get today and see if I can get this done in two videos. I don't want it to go longer than two parts so if I don't get far enough on this today I'll do a little bit of it off camera and then come back and finish it up in a second part um, to the color and chat. So what shall we start with? I do typically like to start with, you know, number one and then go to number two. Um, but that's on my own. That's not necessarily when I am coloring on camera. So why don't we go ahead and why don't we start with the candy canes? So we have number twos here. And on my slip, number two is gray and three gray and candy canes okay okay let's zoom in and let's get coloring all right number twos so how is everybody doing as i said we're you know in the midst well the tail end anyhow finally of another snowstorm you know People who traveled for Thanksgiving had awful weather on Wednesday because that's when we had our first snowstorm. And now for, I gotta move this, for people traveling home from Thanksgiving, if you, you know, traveled anywhere, you know, and you planned on going home on the weekend after uh, Thanksgiving, you got rotten uh, travel weather again so it's like jeepers and yeah it was bad weather across the country so not just here yeah we've had two absolutely horrible winters back to back these past two winters and now they say this one is supposed to be just as bad if not worse and I know I should not say this but it's like oh my heavens how can it get worse than last year yeah I'm gonna eat my words I bet right I mean we broke so many records long-standing records last year um, both in the snowfall amounts and in cold and usually when you get that cold you don't get a ton of snow but yeah last winter we had both ugh 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 and I don't like either one I especially don't like that cold cold weather oh I'm gonna leave that marker up because you know, you invariably miss 
some of them, just like when you're diamond painting. At least I do, anyhow. Let's go to 15, which is aqua green. Oh, okay, we're going to have some different colored candy canes here. So, 15 aqua green BG 53. BG 53 ice mint. Okay. 15. Okay, so, yeah, I just. Because I hate being cold. I know. I am in the total wrong state. I should not be living up here in the Midwest. I belong in Florida. And I know all you people in Florida are saying, you don't want to be down here. It's too hot. I guess we all have problems where we live, right? And, you know, I say, oh, I wish I could live in Florida. I wish I could live in California. But, you know, I guess every single place in the country has their own problems, right? We up here, we have the freezing cold and the snow. And we have tornadoes. And then down in Florida and along the other Gulf Coast states, you guys have to worry about hurricanes. Out west, they have to worry about both wildfires and earthquakes. And, you know, so it's like, is there really a part of the country that is free from worrying? I don't think so. It seems like all of us have some type of natural disaster to worry about. Number seven is red, R27. So, cadmium red. So yeah, it's like, okay, where is the ideal spot to live? I don't know if there is such a place. Although, I don't know. The Caribbean, well, I guess you still have worries down there too. There are some places that look just, you know, they just look idyllic, you know, they're just so gorgeous. It's like, I want to live there. Yeah, and then you find out, oh, okay, they have volcanoes. Not safe there either. Guess Mother Nature and uh, the forces of nature have to hit everywhere in one way or another. So... I guess I'll be staying here in Wisconsin. Not like I really have a choice anyhow. <laughs> you know, if if you had your choice to live, that, that poses a question. If you had a choice, you could live anywhere in the world. Would you stay where you're at or would you move? I think the vast majority of us would probably move. Well, I shouldn't say that though. Because, you know, I, there's so much to consider, you know, when you're asked that. Because, of course, your family, a lot of times, probably the majority of the times, is around you where you live. You know, I couldn't just leave all my kids and, you know, even my, my brothers and sisters are here. With the exception of one, she lives out in New York. What's number eight? Red, orange, okay. But, you know, so it's, it's, I guess it's not just the fact of, oh, I want to live here. It's, would you actually move there and, and leave the world as you've known it <laughs> behind? Would you leave family and friends? I know my sister always said when her and her husband retired, they were moving to Arizona. Well, my brother-in-law has been retired for quite a number of years now. And now my sister retired a couple years ago. They haven't moved yet. <laughs> it's not to say they never will. Because my sister retired a couple of years early. They were very frugal with their money. Well, frugal is not the right word. Very smart with their money, I should say. 
and uh, were able to, you know, save up enough money where she was actually able to retire early. So, boy, if you can do that, more power to you, right? So, they deserve it. They, they worked hard all their lives. Just like Bob, I, I so want him to be able to retire. He worked hard his whole life, too. And especially after all of his health problems now, that man definitely deserves to retire. Okay, is that all the sevens? As I'm glancing through here. All right. Again, I'm sure I missed some, but... All right, let's go to eight, red, orange, Y, R, O, seven. Y, R, O, seven, here we go. Ah, did everybody have a great Thanksgiving and are you still stuffed from Thursday? <laughs> You know, I said once when uh, Bob and I went out to eat, I just jokingly said to him, I don't know why I'm so hungry when I just ate yesterday. And the waitress happened to be walking by and she just started laughing. <laughs> she says, that's a good one. <laughs> just ate yesterday. Which is true, right? Just got to keep eating. And I'm not a breakfast eater, so usually by lunch I'm not even that hungry. But boy, by supper time I am. Yeah, it's red-orange. Boy, there's some weird candy in here. <laughs> I thought I had the wrong color. Okay, any more eights up here? These pictures are just so flippin' cute. Oh, there's a number one. Oh, and that's black, so. Any more eights? Okay, here we have a couple. And these definitely look more difficult to color than they are, because as you can see, there's so many eights here together. You know, so. You just color them all together. You don't have to color each, you know, shape separately. It just gives it that mosaic look when you're done. And because of these nice, thick, black lines, especially on the outside of each of the objects, really easy to color in with alcohol markers. And because of, because of the large variety of colors with my Copics, when I got my very first Sun Life Drawing uh, color by number book, that was automatically the color that I went, or the, the coloring medium that I went for was my Copics because I knew if I wasn't able to match colors up with my Copics, then there was no hope. <laughs> Not to say Copic has every color, because I've said a number of times in the past, Copic is missing some very important purples. And so I did buy, actually, a couple of empty Copic uh, marker containers or markers that you can mix your own inks if you have the ink refills and make your own color. You know, you kind of just mix a couple drops of this, couple drops of that. Find out, you know, what works for you. Kind of keep track of how many drops of each you put in so that you can replicate it if the marker goes dry. So I was actually going to be creating my own purples. A couple of purples that I really want. Okay, let's put our number 22s in here. And that is Magenta RV19. Where are you? Here we go. Yes, definitely different colored candy canes. Now this is one that I had just refilled, so should be good and juicy.
And I know last time I colored with these in a Sun Life drawing book, my one of my lime green colors ran out, so I had to refill that. Thank heavens I did have the refill. I have quite a number of refills. By no means do I have them all. I don't even have half. But the colors that I color with a lot, I have. So, of course, many of the purples and pinks and some of the more popular greens, blues, but hardly any of the grays because I do not use gray. <laughs> now, I was not a gray person. So here we have some 22s. I have to put you over there. I've done that in the past where I had my little tabby up on the top, but it had the clear sticky part and only the colored part on the top. So I'd have it when I'm coloring my designs with my glitter gel pens, not realizing that I'm coloring over that part of the tab because it was clear. So then I'd take it off to move it <laughs> and there's no color there because I colored over the top of the clear tab. It's like, ugh. <laughs> now I don't have that problem though because I have a whole bunch of these that are all solid color. I ordered a, a big pack of these off of Amazon. I think it was like, you know, the, the little packs where you pull the tabs out, out of? I think it came in a pack of like 10 of those maybe. And so, yeah, I have a ton of tabs uh, to last me for quite a while. Between that and the, oh, I can't reach them right now, the big pack of uh, uh, post-it notes that Arteza sent me for a review. Big box full of them, so I'm going to use those too. If I want to write on there, which I really should start doing starting December 1st now, what I colored each picture with. So I was debating whether I want to use those uh, sticky notes rather than these little tabs, but now I bought a whole bunch of these things, so I don't want to waste them. <laughs> Can't waste. Bob is out there snow blowing and shoveling yet again. I think we're winding down our part of the snowstorm, so I think he has snow blown twice already, so this is the third time, and he's shoveled a couple of times, and yeah, but yet he always says he doesn't mind winter, it's not that bad, you know, having the cold and everything, but yet he hates, you know, the shoveling and snow blowing, which I can't blame him in the least, but don't say that you don't mind winter then. <laughs> winter stinks. Okay, here we have some 22s. But at least the skiers and snowmobilers will be happy and have a great year once again. Because there were a number of years there in a row where we hardly had any snow. These are all 22s. We hardly had any snow the entire winter. There were some winters the snowmobilers never were able to get their sleds out once. And so there were many years where you seen everywhere you looked, people had their snowmobiles for sale because they just couldn't get out and enjoy them. And uh, so yeah, everybody was getting rid of their snowmobiles. Not anymore. Now they've been getting a lot of use out of them. Oh, there was a 22. Missed a couple. So yeah, these past couple winters, boy. And the skiers, too. We have a um, ski hill here called Granite Peak. And it is quite a nice one. And they were actually able to open up before Thanksgiving this year. And they make a lot of money. They bring a lot of revenue into this area. Because people come up all the way from Illinois and all kinds of different states 
to come and ski up here on Granite Hill. <coughs> Let's get 21, which is dark violet. V17. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's a nice ski hill and it is packed you could see all the skiers when you go into wassa on not on the main highway going in like i always take bob always takes the back way in and that goes through rib mountain so you can see the ski hill up there and oh my yeah you can always see tons and tons of people up there so Winter definitely does bring in income in the area and up in the north woods too because there are snowmobile trails um, once they get opened and you know all the trails are groomed and for those of you in the south that have no idea what I'm talking about we have snowmobile trails that are well, I guess similar to bike trails only, they go through the woods and everything. And when you get new fallen snow, they take behind either their snowmobile or a three-wheeler or a truck or something. It's a, like a big weighted sled and they have to actually groom the snowmobile trail so that snowmobiles can go on it and not fall down through, especially if it's powdery snow. They have to compact it down a little bit to make it a actual trail. And uh, so, yeah, I can anticipate actually the snowmobile trails opening pretty soon. We've definitely gotten enough snow, but they have to get out and groom those hundreds and hundreds of miles of snowmobile trails and put up the itty bitty stop signs and, you know, because they have all traffic signs. For the snowmobile trails too so they have to put them up every year and take them down every year what a pain right y13 is number 11 yellow so yeah they do that every year put up the little stop signs and the stop ahead signs and, and then every year you know we still have these idiots who you know, it's no wonder that people drink and then drive a snowmobile, though, because especially up in the north, but down here, too, <laughs> the snowmobile trails lead from bar to bar. <laughs> so, you know, you go riding on the trails for a bit, and you stop in a bar to warm up. So you stop and you have a few. Well, unfortunately, some people don't just leave it at a few, and they have quite a few. Then decide, oh, it's time better get back home, you know. And they're bebopping through the woods. Forget that there's a turn up ahead, because it's many times, most of the time, dark by the time they start heading home. Forget about the turn, and they go smack dab into a tree. And I know that's not funny, and I don't mean to make light of it, because we have a number of people every winter who are killed on their snowmobiles, and many of them are alcohol-related. But again, you know, it's kind of ironic that all of these snowmobile trails go from bar to bar. And even down here, there's many of them that go from bar to bar, but especially, it seems, up in the north woods. Well, we say up in the north woods, northern Wisconsin. So, but it is their money makers. Between that and, you know, of course, in the summer, it's, you know, tourist season, so they like to have good weather during the summer, too, so... There's a lot of fishing and um, tourism and whatnot in northern Wisconsin. So that's, you know, another big thing that brings in money for Wisconsin during the summer months. All of the fishing and boating because we have so many lakes up there. 
So I guess every season, and I'm sure it's not just Wisconsin, it's all states. You have your tourism and you have your your things that bring in money for your state. You know, when I picked out this color for number 11 for yellow, I went according to what's on the back here. And yellow is quite pale. But I think I'm going to change it from this real pale, pale yellow because I don't like it in the pictures. I want, I think I want a little bit of a darker yellow. So I'm going to change my number 11 from Y13 maybe to like Y15 or something. But every time I do a picture, I'm like, I think I'm going to change that yellow. And then by the time I'm done with the picture, I forget. And it's probably going to happen again now. Especially where I'm doing this one on camera. <laughs> I'll get done with it and I'll be like, oh, got that done. <laughs> and I'll just put my Copics away and forget all about it. Hope I'm staying on camera. I haven't even been looking. I'm still trying to get used to I now am, I said in my last color and chat, I am remembering to turn my book and, and my camera at an angle when I color or when I do color swatching videos. If they're just flip throughs, I can have my camera straight up above and not at an angle. <coughs> but coloring is just too hard straight at an angle. And I think that's why I had such a hard time doing coloring checks is because I was trying to color at such an odd angle for me. So I'm like, well, duh, why don't you turn your book and your camera and it'll still look relatively straight in the camera, but you're sideways kind of on your desk. So yeah, it's working out much better. It's still kind of an odd angle for me because I don't color at my desk ever. <laughs> I always color in the living room in my comfy rocker recliner <laughs> in my lap. Well, kind of in my lap and my knees and the arm of the chair because I always fold my legs off to the left side of me and have my feet kind of tucked to the right of me. Does that make sense at all? And yeah, that's how I color. And so I am so used to coloring that way that actually coloring at a desk, duh, which is the way I should be coloring, <laughs> this is awkward for me. Now, if and when we ever get a new house, depends upon where I'll be able to have my craft room, if uh, it'll be, you know, easy, easily accessible and uh, I'll be able to easily, you know, go and color up my desk here. But it's just so nice to curl up in my, you know, my rocker recliner and you know, Bob's in the living room and TV's on. Although most of the time when I color, I'm catching up on my fellow color tubers videos or some diamond painting videos. So, you know, that part I could do at my desk. It's just, I really enjoy my comfy chair. <laughs> I do have back issues, so coloring here at my desk in this desk chair and I'm leaning forward, even though I have a back support. Oh, let me scoot back a little. Maybe it won't be so bad. Um, <laughs> even though I have a back support in this chair, I'm still leaning forward to actually do the coloring. <coughs> and so the back support is not helping me at all. <laughs> Maybe I should try the uh, back support that I bought for my uh, chair in the living room um, that I diamond paint on. It's really thick and cushiony. I have a video out made quite a while ago. I want to quick see if there's any more 11s while I'm jabbering here. Um, 
that I discovered this really awesome backrest for an office chair and it's super thick and cushiony and you can adjust where you want that back um, it, it actually comes off the back of the chair it, it's kind of like a ham hand sewn cushion and the lumbar support cushion attaches to the back part of the cushion and it's attached with buttons and um, elastic and so you can adjust up and down where you want that lumbar support if you want it in your lower back or upper back and so I really like it and I got it on AliExpress and it was not that much money so if I try that maybe now that I'm thinking of a good idea guys <laughs> um, might try that in here seeing as how I haven't been diamond painting anyhow Number six is peach. Why R O one? Why R? Why R? Why R? Why R? Why R? O one. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta try that in here, cause heaven knows I haven't been using it in there. The only thing I use that chair for in there is Levi will sometimes let me sit in that chair if he will not let he does not like me sitting down in my rock recliner nope 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 grandma's getting too comfy but he will sometimes let me sit for some reason in that chair and then i kind of bounce him on my one knee he likes to sit that way <laughs> But I could always take this, you know, it doesn't matter if I have the cushion or not on it. Well, it kind of does. I shouldn't say that because having that back support while I'm in that chair out there does kind of help too. But I guess I'll have to see. If I see that it really does help in here, maybe I'll just order a second one. Because like I said, I don't think it really cost much i'm gonna have to go back and look now i'm pretty sure it was you know it was under 20 bucks but yeah it's, yeah that thing works pretty good i like it especially when you're doing diamond painting and i do have a bad lower back and so i need that lumbar support down low so i do like it This is uh, a little bit different of colors for the roof of this uh, gingerbread house and so very pretty though especially with uh, using that light yellow in this particular picture it actually works out really nice with the peach so maybe I am supposed to keep it light yellow Maybe they knew what they were talking about. And you can see with the black background, backing of the page, how dark that ink looks when you first put it down versus when it dries. What a difference, right? <laughs> such a light, pretty peach in here. It's got such a gray undertone to it. And yeah, it's just because of the black backing. Well, we all know ink is ink looks different when it's wet anyhow even if there is no black to the back of the page always dries different whether it's alcohol based or water based i am hoping today is sunday so i am hoping to get this this first part of this color and chat up today yet or tonight sometime not sure when I'm going to be able to get around to finish this picture because it's all going to depend upon if Maddie and Levi's other grandma thinks that she can babysit the kids again for one day during the week she is still off work helping to take care of her husband after his bad fall off the ladder 
So, uh, but he is doing much, much better. Thank heavens. And he's actually able to get out and do a few things on his own, but that's why she really likes to be around just in case and to make sure he doesn't push it too much and tries to do too much because he is that type of man, which most men are. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. I can do this. No, you cannot do that. Because shortly after he got home from the hospital, he wanted to get a motor his motorcycle out. Um, both of them are big motorcycle riders, and during the summer, they they drive motorcycles all over the place. They can go motorcycle riding every single weekend. I mean, in big, big, long motorcycle trips. So he he really wanted to get the motorcycle out. Well, of course, that was before all this snow hit. <laughs> Can't really get the motorcycles out anymore. Well, it is all six. So yeah, it'll, I'll see if I get a free day during the week. And if I do, I will finish up this color and chat with part two. Because I don't want to just get half a picture done every week. And then, you know, finish part two the following weekend. Because I'll only get four color and chats in the entire month and two pictures <laughs> two christmas pictures and that's it and of course i will be coloring many christmas pictures on my own in my rocker recliner <laughs> of course but yeah i, I want to get a few pictures done on camera too I guess it really technically doesn't matter what I'm coloring during the color and chats, whether it's a new picture or not, but I don't want you guys to keep seeing me coloring on the same picture all the time either. It's kind of nice to see something new. Okay, what should we go to next? Why don't we get these number nines out of the way? That is orange. Why R O four? Why R O four? Here we go. <coughs> Let's see. What number was I doing? <laughs> number nine. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, great memory, but it's short. I always say that, right? Got a great memory, but it's just a little short. Just call me Dory. Dory's my middle name. Sometimes I think should be. Just like, you know, you get up, you go into the kitchen to do something. You get in there because your mind was on something a million miles away as, as you get up. You get into that other room and you're like, oh my heavens, what did I come in here to do? So then you go sit back down. Soon as you sit back down, you remember what it is. Or vice versa. You're in the kitchen. You're like, oh, that's right. I got to go do this. Like I got to check something on my phone or, you know. Then you sit down. You're like, oh, gosh, what was that that I was going to do? Or you forget you were going to do something entirely. This one feels like it's starting to get dry, so I'm going to have to leave it out. Hopefully I have the refill. What is number 10? Yellow orange. Okay. And of course, there's quite a few number 9s up here. 
Well, if worse comes to worse, I will leave the rest of the nines for part two, which is what I think I'm going to have to do. Because this is really getting dry, and you should not let your Copics get this dry. So I'm going to put that one to the side. I will refill it, and we will commence with number nines in part two. Because, yeah, there's a whole bunch of number nines in here. So let's go to number 19. Pink RV21. RV21. Light pink. Okay. And I think this is another one that I had to recently refill. So it should be nice and juicy. Because I know the last couple times I've colored, I had some that were running dry. So I've had to refill a number of them. How many of you have this book from Sun Life Drawing? I know there are many Sun Life Drawing fans out there like myself. If that happens to be you, let me know. <coughs> and if you are a Sun Life Drawing fanatic, how many books do you have of theirs? <laughs> I have lost count. I have one, well, I can't say shelf because my bookshelves are um, the eight cube cubbies. If you know what I'm talking about, you can get the four cube, the six cube, and I have the eight cube cubbies. And I think I have one, two, three, four of those. <laughs> And so, yeah, I have one whole square that is filled with some life drawing books. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But I am so very, very lucky that I do not have to purchase them. That Sun Life Drawing is so generous, always sends me their newest books to review on my channel. So... I am, like I said, I am extremely lucky in that regard. Is that the only number 19s? Hmm. Alrighty then. Here's another number one, which is black. Oops. I am missing my Packer game. Oh. The things I sacrifice for you guys, they were ahead at halftime. So, fingers crossed. They should beat. Um, they're playing the Giants, and Giants are only two and, what is it, two and, well, they only won two games. I can't remember the exact record, but, and there's a pale yellow I missed. See, just like diamond painting. Let's see, number 17 is blue, B23. Phthalo blue. Okay. Any 17s? Oh, yes. You know, and I, yes, have heard the comment so many times. What are you doing coloring in your Copics in those coloring books? Especially the ones with Amazon paper. And, yes, it is true. It, it can definitely wreck your Copic tips especially this brush tip but you know if you don't color that hard this paper is not so horribly horribly toothy that it's going to chew them up right away and if it does ruin the tip i'll buy a new brush tip 
because I figure, hey, I spent this amount of money on these Copics. I'm going to use them. <laughs> and I'm going to use them in my coloring books. So, yes. Um. So, yeah. I And I've heard other, other colorists that color in their coloring books. Especially the Amazon paper make the same comment. Yeah, people tell me I'm not supposed to use them. Well, who are they, number one, to tell you what you should and shouldn't do? It's your coloring stuff. <laughs> you paid for it. They didn't. Do with it what you want to. But I know the serious artists, you know, that also paid good money for their Copics and their other art supplies you know, are probably cringing in their skin thinking we're using we're using them to just color in coloring books, you know, we don't make a living doing it or anything. And yeah, it is just coloring, especially to them, but to us, it's not our livelihood, but boy, it sure helps to keep us sane. <laughs> so I say you go for it. Whatever you have, you color with. If that is Crayola, you color with it. If it is Copics, you color with it. So that's my two cents worth. <laughs> Whatever that is worth. 16 is light blue, B21. BBBB21. I love this storage case. It is so easy to find my markers. Let me turn you just a tad here. See, this is my storage case, and of course it's purple. <laughs> Let me back you out a bit. I bought this off of Etsy, and it is a special case. Um, and then they make a wood insert, and I don't know if you can see that, let me uh, let me zoom you in. Sorry for the shaking. There is a wood insert in here, and they can make different types. Now, this particular one is made for the sketch Copic markers. They make one for the Chows. They make one for the original uh, Copics. They make them for other marker types, and then it fits exactly into this case that you buy also from there. And uh, yeah, it just, it works so nice because as I'm looking for my markers and I always make sure I put it with the um, brush tip in. So when I grab it, you know, the brush tip is that way. And yeah, it works so fantastic because it's just so easy to find the marker that I want. Fits underneath the, my overhead of my desk up here perfectly. So when I want to you know, color with my Copics, it's just all right there, and yeah, it works great. So hopefully moving you like that didn't make you too dizzy. I'll, mo I'll move you back now. <laughs> Let's see if we can get us straight again. All right, here we go. We're wobbling, we're wobbling. Uh, okay, I think we're done wobbling. All right, so. Did I pull out 16 now? 21, yep. Yeah. Light blue. So yeah, I love that case. And if if you're interested in it, um, just let me know. I can look up the shop name where I bought it from on Etsy. It wasn't necessarily the cheapest thing in the world. So I saved up for it for a while, just like I saved up for my Copics and got them slowly over the years. Bought some used ones off of Amazon. I would buy a number of them in like a lot. And then, of course, when you do that, you get duplicates. So, but because of the price of Copics, I didn't feel guilty reselling them. And I resold them as used. Some of them were brand new, though, when I would buy them in lots. And then I did sell them as brand new. But if they were used, I stated such. <coughs> so then I would sell them in a lot. 
and uh, yeah so I got rid of my duplicates that way but it is just it's a lot cheaper to you know buy things that way in a group and you know if you get some duplicates then you just resell them so I got quite a few of mine that way at a much cheaper price <laughs> And I bought a lot of mine off of Uzak because Uzak had, and I don't know, I haven't bought any from there in a long time because I have all mine now. But if you registered for a free account, these Copic sketches were only $4.99. And uh, they had the best price for the replacement brush nibs. And I put all fine tip in the other end of my markers I took all them darn chisel tips out <laughs> <laughs> you know how I get along with chisel tips and so yeah I slowly replaced all of those in my Copics too but yeah Uzak.com was again at that time the cheapest place to get all of that and yeah, you register for a, a free account and you got like 50 cents off a marker. Well, that adds up. <laughs> and that's how I kind of filled, slowly filled in some of the colors that I was missing. And yes, because of my full set syndrome, yeah, gotta have them all. Gotta have them all. Okay, I'm just kind of glancing over the page to see if there's any more so I know again that I am going to be missing a number of them. But what is number 10? Yellow, orange, Y17. That's YR. Y17. Okay. Oh gosh. Um, I guess one thing I did kind of want to talk about, um, I know everybody is sick and tired of hearing about COPA, so I'm not going to go back over what's all going on because I think we all know what's going on. Um, but I just want to reiterate to everybody that I do not plan on going anywhere. I also am not making any big changes to my channel at this point. Now that could change down the road. You know, we just don't know what's going to happen and I'm going to leave it at that. Not going to make a big spiel about it, but just to say that until we know what's coming down the pike, I'm not changing anything. I have made a few minor adjustments and you may have noticed that. Boy, this one's getting dry too. Um, to my thumbnails, to my descriptions, to the titles of my videos, I always include the word adult coloring. Um, and I think many of us are doing that. <coughs> I know quite a number of people are no longer making bright and colorful thumbnails and I'm I'm not changing that because I don't really believe YouTube is going to look at that. That is what all creators, whether they are adult channels or not, everybody makes bright, flashy, eye-catching thumbnails. And so I cannot believe that YouTube would be looking at that. Now, number 10 is dry enough where I'm not going to finish that one either. <laughs> and there's a lot of 10s, that's why. So we're going to leave that one too. Let's go to number 12. Yellow green, YG25. YG25, here we go. Um, so yeah, I... I am just leaving well enough alone for now. I marked all my videos as being for adults. I put up my video with my big rant about COPA, so I won't go there again. 
just want to say thank you guys for all your support i am not going anywhere do not plan on it and if that changes you guys will be the first to know because you guys are awesome i i cannot believe the amount of support i have gotten from you um, just makes my day when i get up and i read all the comments and I may not necessarily take the time to reply back to all the comments right away um, because uh, yeah that you know that takes time and I don't necessarily always have that amount of time to go through them all um, but I eventually do and some of them require you know a comment back and some don't so if you see a heart um, on your comment you know that I seen it and I read it and I always value every single comment both good and bad I guess thumbs up or thumbs down <laughs> it all goes into the analytics <laughs> so all of it you know comments you know everything bumps a, a YouTube channel up in the analytics and you're more visible and whatnot but anyhow uh, so yeah all of it is so appreciated your support of me is just it's been unbelievable the amount of of uh, you know commission not commission what's the word I'm looking for well with your support you know with watching the ads on my my videos and uh, you know so I get YouTube revenue and then purchasing through my Amazon links I can uh, see that people are um, Christmas shopping <laughs> I see more I can't of course see who's buying what um, and even if I could I'm not interested in that but no we can't see who's buying what we can see kind of what's being bought and how much commission we're making off of those things but uh, <clears throat> let's go to 13 then but uh, yeah so you know my my little piece of the pot from Amazon you know I can see is, is going up just a, a little so again I, I do appreciate all of you you know purchasing through my Amazon affiliate links um, you know and and the general one that's down in the bottom of my description because you know any of us youtubers that uh, us color tubers anyhow and imagine all the other youtubers that are Amazon affiliates you know we all have a uh, Amazon affiliate link in our descriptions and uh, yeah I do really appreciate your support and it shows you know it it show your support shows both by that but that's not it of course that's that's not the big deal the big deal is the wonderful comments I'm getting the emails I get you people just make me feel so good and I know I'm not the only one. I know many of you subscribe to a number of us color tubers. And so I know the other color tubers say the same thing because I watch them too. <laughs> We're just one big family. <laughs> Oh, so sorry to have put you through that. Uh, but we kind of are, right? We're our own little social network of uh, friends and buddies, and we support each other. I am just so thankful that I found this coloring community. When I first started coloring years and years ago, there was no such thing as color tube. Let's see, was there even the internet? No. <laughs> okay, wasn't that many years ago. 
but I don't really think YouTube was a big hot commodity that it is now when I first started coloring because that was probably hmm <coughs> I would have to say that is probably hmm, from the time when I very first started coloring probably about 20 years ago but then I took a big long break from it so I had purchased Prismacolor pencils and the Prismacolor markers and yeah that was so long ago that the Prismacolor pencils were made in the United States yet and they were great I still have have them some of them are getting pretty short, <laughs> as you can imagine, and I've had to replace a few. This one feels like it's going just a tad dry, too, so I'm going to see if I have the refill for this one, too. I don't see any other 13s out there. Not to say that there isn't. Okay, we'll put that one on the side, too. What's number 14? Dark green. G28. Ocean green. Okay, we're just moving right along. Whatever number grabs my attention is the one I'm going with. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not going in any particular order. Oh, I love these colors together. And I think the other color that goes in this Christmas ball is a darker green. Yeah, or darker blue. Yeah. Dark blue. Now I'm surprised, and of course my eye would see this, that this one would not be that lighter blue. And that the dark blue, I'm going to make it lighter blue. Because that's what I want. <laughs> 17 was B23. Because I think it would look goofy having both of these dark, right? Who agrees with me? To me, this should be lighter blue. And then just the bottom two be dark. I know I'm right. <laughs> I know you agree with me. <laughs> oh my heavens. Yep, it's been one of those days. And I see a 13 up here. The star on top of the gingerbread house is green. See, there are different colors in this picture than what I normally would have colored them. Because I, would, of course, would have colored the star yellow. And then these would have been different shades of brown, right? So, again, that's what's kind of neat about doing a color by number. You get introduced to some unique, different ways of coloring things. Like I said in, I think it was my last color in chat, when uh, I colored out of the Color by Number mandala books, the colors, the color schemes that Sun Life Drawing put together were just so unusual, but yet so pretty. You know, they were color schemes I would have never thought of. Colors I would have never put together. And, yeah, they would end up looking so pretty. It's another book I have to get back to. <laughs> and that was almost totally off camera. Told you I haven't been watching. Whoops, forgot the other end of the candy here. Just jabbering away. So yeah, I mainly, definitely wanted to just, you know, mention about the COPPA and that I am not going anywhere. I um, wanted to see if there was anything else that I definitely wanted to mention today. I don't think so. I think it was just mainly that. <coughs> All right, I think we only have these 14s left. Boy, this is going much faster than what I thought. But again, you know, as you look at these pictures, 
you look at them and you think, oh my heavens, that's going to take a long time to do. But again, as you could see now, this was how many different shapes? That was four different shapes. But you color it all together. So yeah, they don't take near as long as what you think they will. So maybe we will get this done in just two color and chats and I won't have to color any off camera. You ever do this? You're coloring away, you're a million miles away, you're thinking about something total different, you get done with that object that you're coloring and it's dark enough where you can't see the number and you're like, Okay, what number am I coloring? <laughs> I forgot. I'll do that with diamond painting, too. That was my dark green, right? 14, okay. <laughs> oh, I get so sidetracked so easy. Oh, my heavens. Okay, let's do these 18s up here with these dark blue so I can see how right I was. <laughs> B26. This is cobalt blue. What time is it? Ooh, Packer game must almost be over with. Hey, Bob, what's the score? They so started at noon and it's almost three. See, that looks perfect, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see if there are any other 18s. I would think there would be somewhere. Here we go. Geez, it's still slowing out. I thought it was supposed to start stopping. It's not, not real bad now, though. It's just, it's kind of fluffing out there, but it's enough that, you know, enough that you have to go out and shovel again. Wipe off the cars and... I'm getting quiet. Not that I'm concentrating on this either. I mean, I am, but it's not like this picture takes a ton of thought. <laughs> wow, there are really a lot of number nines and tens. Okay, I thought I seen where, yeah, there was a 17 down here. So, I'm going to fill that one in. That was the B23. So, I know I'm going to ask this a gazillion times before Christmas, but what's everybody doing for Christmas? E29. Do you go anywhere typically for Christmas? Do you stay home and have family over or <coughs> do you go to your loved one's place? I uh, typically had all the kids over on Christmas morning and we would have a lunch and then all the kids would you know everybody would open their presents and all that fun stuff well now that the kids are you know getting older and my youngest Mallory is works at the hospital and so many times she works on Christmas which this year she does and so 
it gets all the threes. So uh, she E34. I am uh, thinking and talking at the same time, and it just doesn't work. Um, she, uh, yeah, has to work Christmas Eve and, or Christmas Day, and then she's also working Christmas Eve till 4.30. But last year and this year now, we, um, we celebrated on Christmas Eve because Christmas Day is just, you know, between Mallory having to work um, and the other ones having so many other you know, family obligations on the other side, you know, to do. And opening up presents at home if they have kids. You know, the Santa present. It just gets to be too much, especially for little ones. But of course, for mom and dad, too. So, we always, we've been doing it now on Christmas Eve. We'll have supper around, you know, 5, 5.30. Any other fives? <coughs> and uh, then we will all open up gifts after that. So that, that's been working out really well. Oh, I was going to do the tens. I can't do the tens. Here's a number two, which is a gray, and three. That's that. Yeah. So we'll do that because I think all we'll have left is the background which is 20s and 4s it looks like so I better make sure those are nice and juiced up right 20 is violet 4 is brown hmm okay so we're gonna have a violet and brown background interesting huh so do we have any Anything other than the 20s and the 4s and then the 9 and 10s that I can't do. I don't think so. I think it's those four colors that are left. And we have been at it over in 12 minutes. So, I don't think, you know, because I'm going to be able to have the same marker in my hand and do all the fours and then go back and do all the twenties. I don't think it's going to take real long to finish this. I think we got quite a bit of it done. So, I am going to end this color and chat here. I am going to make sure I juice up these three markers over here. <laughs> make sure I have those refills. I hope, I hope, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, hopefully, again, I will get to finishing this color and chat shortly. I do want to get this up, like I said, tonight yet, with uh, tonight being Sunday. And then hopefully midweek I'll be able to put out part two. So I'll be able to get two color and chats out again this week. So that's it for today. Again, we're coloring out of stained glass. Color by number by Sun Life Drawing. I will go ahead and link this book down below in the description. So I hope everybody have, is having or had a fantastic weekend. You're looking forward to a Monday night. Um, and uh, if you like this video so far, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. Again, I hope you're enjoying your weekend and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.